Good evening out there students. My name is teacher Prashant and as I always say Hello and good evening out there students. This is teacher Prashant back with another lesson on linear graph and in today's lesson we will be solving a question and our question for today's video is this. Alright, so we will be finding an equation of a line AB that is parallel to line Y equal 2x plus 1, which is another line CD on the graph, and the line AB also passes through the point E, where X is 4 and Y is 5 on the graph. So, how do we find out the equation of a line AB? With these two information given in the question. To find the equation of a line AB, we need to follow three simple steps and trust me, this is easier than you think it is. So step number one, find the gradient or slope of a line AB. Step number two, find the y-intercept of the line AB and then step number three is combine the step number one and step number two to find the answer which is the equation of a line AB. So let's get started. Step number one, find the gradient or slope of the line AB. And how do we do that? Since we know that our line AB is parallel to line CD, so two parallel lines on a graph have the same gradient. So the equation of line CD is y equal 2x plus 1, which is written in the slope intercept form, which is y equals mx plus c, where m stands for the value of gradient. So, our equation of line CD is y equal 2x plus 1, where 2 stands for m and m stands for gradient. So, we know that the gradient of line CD is 2. Since gradient of line CD is 2, the gradient of line AB will be 2 as well, because two parallel lines have the same gradient. So, the gradient of line AB will be 2. And we got the answer of step number one, which is gradient of line AB is two, because the gradient of line CD, which is parallel to our line AB is two, and two parallel lines have same gradient, that's why AB will have the same gradient. I told you, it is more easier than you think it is. Now let's move on to step number two. Okay, so what is step number two? Step number two is find the y-intercept of the line AB. Now, what is y-intercept? Let me tell you something what is y-intercept, and I've done this a thousand times in my previous videos, so let me do it one more time. y-intercept is the value of y at a point where x is zero, or y-intercept is the point where the line cuts y-axis on the graph. So, how do we find out the y-intercept of our line AB? How do we do this? So, we know that the gradient or slope of line AB is 2 and the line AB also passes through the point E where X is 4 and Y is 5. So, we can plug in this value in the equation of line in slope intercept form as Y equals MX plus C and then we can find the value for our Y intercept or find the Y intercept of the line AB. All right, so let's find out our y-intercept of our line AB. So since the gradient or slope of line AB is 2, which means our m value is 2, because m stands for gradient. So the gradient of our line AB is 2. And we also know that our line is passing through a point E, where the x value is 4 and y value is 5. So we have a value of x and we also have a value of 5. Now, how do we find out y-intercept? We find out y-intercept by plugging in the value of gradient, x-coordinate, and y-coordinate into this equation of line written in slope-intercept form, which is y equal mx plus c. y stands for y-coordinate, and since our line AB is passing through point E, where y is 5, so our y-coordinate will be 5. What about m? M stands for gradient. Our gradient is 2, so our gradient value which we will plug into this equation is 2. What about X? X is also an X coordinate and our line AB is passing through a point E where X is 4. So the X coordinate value for this equation will be 4. And what about C? 
we don't know C because C is actually Y intercept and that's what we need to find out so if we solve this equation for C we will find the value for our Y intercept so let's find out our Y so our Y is 5 because the Y value is 5 MX means M multiply X so our M means our slope value is 2 so right 2 times our our X coordinate is 4 so just plug in the value of 4 and then plus C and C is our Y intercept so we need to solve this equation for C to find out the value for our Y intercept and, and that is exactly what we are going to do in this question so 5 equals 2 times 4 will be 8 plus C now let's solve this equation for C and find out what our Y intercept is. So to find out the value of C, we have to send this 8 on other side of equal to. Since on the right hand side it is plus, if it goes on the left hand side, it will change its value from plus to minus, so 5 minus 8. So C will be 5 minus 8 equal minus 3. So our C, which is Y intercept, is minus 3. So the answer of step number 2 is done, which is our y-intercept value of line AB is minus 3. I told you, it is more easier than you think it is. Now it's time to find our final answer, which is equation of a line AB. So let's have a look at our step number 1. So step number 1 gave us a gradient of line AB equal 2. And step number two told us that the y-intercept of line AB is minus 3. So let's combine these two steps and find out our equation of line AB. To do that, we have to write our equation of line in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus c. Where m stands for a value of gradient, and the gradient of our line AB is 2. And C stands for Y intercept and Y intercept of our line AB is minus 3. So let's plug in the values and find out our equation of line AB. So let's plug in the value of gradient from step number 1 and the value of Y intercept from step number 2 to find our equation of lines. So our equation of line will be y equals m is 2, so it will be 2x. And c is minus 3, so it will be minus 3. And damn, we got our equation of line ab, which is y equal 2x minus 3. Now tell me this is not easy. So the equation of a line ab is y equals 2x minus 3. So... Thank you so much for your time watching my video and consider subscribing if you are interested in learning maths content on my channel and also hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a new lesson. So before I wrap this video let me tell you the topic for our next video. In our next video we will be learning how to find out perpendicular distance of two parallel lines on a graph. Once again thank you so much and I'll see you guys again in my next video.